Good morning, everybody. This is Sylvia from Silver Wolf Song. Welcome to my channel. That's Salem that you're looking at, and he's on an adventure. We're going to go on a walk with him. So I am currently near Pagosa Springs at Pedra Falls. They have a nice little campground here that's free. You can, you can either use it for a picnic area or a campground, but there are no fires allowed right now. We are in stage one burn. And that way is the trailhead over here, over that way. Uh, and the falls are that way. I will be doing some filming that way. Come on, boo-boo, where are we going? We got to go on the trail. Come on. Come on. We found this trail behind our camp, and it's a game trail. Of course he doesn't want to go. Salem. You want to go down by the water? Okay, so we're going to go down by the water then. I won't be able to release this for a few days because I have no signal here. He's exploring. I, I don't have his harness on him because I can't find it. My back door is the lock mechanism fell out and I can't open it so I can't I think I threw it somewhere in the back and I can't get in there now we're out early it's only about 7 30 maybe 8 um, we're that's what we've been doing when we're around here because we are in a snake paradise rattlesnakes and they're in the embankment behind us, back here behind the van. They're in all these logs. They're underneath the rocks. And about 10 o'clock, they start up, sometimes sooner. Oh, he's doing his business. <laughs> uh, so they don't come out of their holes, thank God. They're not like the desert ones that are more aggressive, but if you don't watch where you're going, you could get in real close contact with one. I was walking on the trail to the waterfall the other day. I didn't make it all the way there. My, it, 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 my vertigo kicked in because the trail's skinny and it starts winding along this cliff. Well, all of a sudden I'm walking along and then I hear this right in my ear. It was in the cliff next to me. And I'm almost pissing my pants, I almost fell off the trail. And I said to the snake, I said, please don't bite me. I'm just passing through. And uh, it didn't, but I turned around and when I started going back, they were all awake by then and pissed off because I had gone through, I had been on the rocks. Oops. See, they're, they hide under stuff like this, but they're asleep right now. But I've got my heavy-duty boots on just in case, and when I go back up to the trail, if they're awake, I'll put my snake guards on. Now, I don't want to take that upper route. I, my fear of heights kicks in. Okay, so here, I do believe the miners, the old-time miners, came in here and tore this up. Either that or this is natural from, um, from the river. But to me, it looks like people came in and tore it up with one of those land dredges that they used to have back then. But I, I could be wrong. <clears throat> uh, above us, I believe, is Copper Mountain. I think that's Copper Mountain. I have been finding some copperish rocks, but nothing really good enough to take. I mean, no Chrysocolla. Wow. Come on, let's go to the river. Come on. Before the snakes come out, because we're right in their territory here. Yeah. It looks like this is mainly some form of granite, maybe, and rhyolite, which you find rhyolite around gold. And all the red rocks were setting off my 
detector yesterday. Oh God. I haven't been down here. I think this is black sand underneath here. I guess we're falling. Where are we going? We want to go over to the water, boo. Where are we going? Huh? Sorry if I'm swinging you around too much. I apologize. At least I'm more steady today. So we're just going to walk along here. Salem, you lead the way to the river. Okay? Find an easy path, please. Easy path. Like this one. Um, I took a sample yesterday. Ooh, that's pretty. That's got iron coming out of it. And here's a volcanic bomb right next to it. I've found a few of these, and they're different from the ones in quartzite. This one's really iron. <gasps> oh, my God. It, oh, it's, yeah, you can see the basalt. Uh, you can see the um, holes in it. It's a heavy-duty volcanic bomb. Okay, let's go to the river, boo. Come on. Mama got distracted. You know her. See, we're taking away. This, this is not the standard way. We're no longer in the camping area or the trail area. We're, it's all back up in there. You can't even see it from here. Oh, shit. <laughs> you scared the hell out of me. You got mommy good. <laughs> Salem, yeah. Come on, let's go. Okay, we're almost to the river. This might have been part of the riverbed at one time, and then it just got diverted or something. Or it could be just natural, and when it floods, the water comes up into these levels. Yeah. Hi, boobs. That's my nickname for him, boob. He's my boo, and sometimes I call him boobs. Here we go. Here it is. There's the, this is the east fork of the Pedre River. Oh, listen to that. That is beautiful. I just can stand here. Here he comes. There's Salem. Get up that tree. Get up here. Get up that tree. <laughs> Come on down, boo. He's so excited. He loves it here. He doesn't like the snakes, though. When they come out, he goes in. Or he stays away from the embankments and the logs. In the morning before they come out, he explores those areas. I think a lot of people think that the snakes aren't here, but we're not quite high enough. I'm trying to put, find a place to sit. The I found out the snakes go all the way up to 9,000 feet. And we're about 8,500. Not quite. They were at Clear Creek, and that was 8,700. At Leadville, you don't find them. I hope you can hear me. It's pretty loud down here. I just want to have a seat. This is nice. I'm just looking at the river. Oh, look at these pretty rocks. Oh, yeah, we've got all kinds. Let's see. Let's play. Yeah, no, I'm stuck. I'm not going anywhere. I didn't sleep good last night. Um, I'm having some issues with the altitude a little bit, but I think mainly it's having to use um, insect spray. I think it's irritated my lungs, so my levels aren't as high. All the rocks have a lot of iron or copper. Or... Let's see. Let's get down in here. Ooh, 
look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Hey, Michael, I'm, I'm talking to you, nephew. You need to let Ethan know I'm in Colorado. I can't, I can't get a hold of him right now. Shit, that was close. And here he is. Let's walk along the shore, boo. Yeah, let's go this way, though. This is easier. Then we can walk back to where Mommy took the sample. Oh, isn't this beautiful? I found out, though, these rivers have leeches. So you got to be careful. And any water that's not fast moving, and if there's any grass, like this little bit of grass there, the leeches cling on to them, and then you pass over, and then they let go and grab you. I almost got three of them on me the other day when I was refilling my water jugs. It wasn't on this fork, though. It was on the middle fork. I've been on all three forks. Ooh, look at that. That's black sand right there. You're looking at it. Something's been over here. Yeah. Boo, you're the star of the show. Come on, let's go. Look at this water. I was thinking about sniping in here. But I'm not sure. Sniping is getting in and removing the lighter gravel. And I'm not seeing a lot of light gravel. And looking for areas where there's crevices and pockets where gold can get trapped. But I'm not sure if it's worth it. I'm not really finding any big flakes yet, though I did find some small stuff so far. The West Fork, I found a big flake. Second pan I took, it was in it. So, and the West Fork has got more granite. I don't know, it's different material over on that side. A lot of granite has collapsed into the river. Um, over there. Ooh, look at that. What's that? That's a lace wing. You see it? A little. And there's yellow stuff here. And here he comes, the star of the show, Salem. Okay, so now where we're at is where I was the other day. I mean, yesterday. I think I took my sample from right over here. Isn't this pretty? pretty? Look at these little falls. Now, I put some pictures up on Facebook, and those are from the first part of the trail that goes to the falls. I didn't make it up the second part because it got too treacherous and the snakes woke up. So I didn't have my boots on. There were people going up there with little babies and sandals and I'm like stay to the trail there are snakes <laughs> I don't know if they understood me on that or not well I guess we're taking the lower trail now we're moving into an area that has ancient riverbed oh wait no it's just so packed this is packed really hard you want to go up boo we ready to go back you ready for your treats? Yeah? Okay. Let's go back. Yeah, this is where Mommy comes to collect her samples and her water. I, I've been using the river water to wash the dishes. Okay. You guys are not going to believe this view. You can't see it from my camp because the trees are in the way. But look at that. Is that mountain awesome or what? And then over here, I don't think it's coming out the way I want it to. All right, here's the other volcano bomb. This is the one that tells me where, where to go back on, to my van. 
Look at this. Here. Is that cool? It's just, uh, just cemented all kinds of little pieces of rock. Yep. All right. So I have to go through this obstacle path to get back to my van. So while we're doing that, let's take another view. I haven't seen any deer here yet. Oh, the last place I camped, there was a moose there and I didn't see it, but I heard it. He was hidden in the aspen grove and I didn't go back in there. There was also a mountain lion and a cub with a cub supposedly spotted in that area. And I think I found their den. What is this? I think that's melted plastic. All right. Yeah, their den was underneath the trail. I saw some poop from a cat and um, the trail went over this area that had caved in. Uh, it was like a sinkhole underneath the trail. And it was an abandoned trail. I followed it for about a mile before I came across a tree I couldn't get around. And it was, I was trying to take it to the other falls. I was over on Middle Fork Forest Road, 336. And now I'm on 337, which takes you to the East Fork. So my friends Charlie and Jan have bought property up here. They have an acre and they're getting ready to put a little shed on it and they're leveling it out and I helped trim some of the oak trees stumps off of there. They had a lot of that gamble oak. It grows everywhere. Uh, it's not up here because it's too high. I haven't seen any of it up here. <clears throat> So this is my humble camp. It's in the shade. It's away from the trailhead, away from the parking. Um, though on Sundays, the people come in and they have their picnics and they ride around on their little ATVs with the kids and the kids go crazy over it. Uh, so Sunday was kind of noisy. This is Wednesday today. I'm probably gonna stay here until it's time for me to move to, Led to go to Leadville. Let's get Salem as treats. Okay, you guys are gonna see the inside of my van and it is not the way I want. I have to go back to Santa Fe after, at the end, of, towards the end of July. And I have to go to Albuquerque. But while I'm in Santa Fe, I'm gonna open up a storage unit and put half my stuff there that I'm not gonna need. Cause I'm gonna be going back east. I'm not gonna be prospecting. Um, I'm not going to be doing a lot of the stuff I normally do, so I just don't want to bring half this, all this stuff with me. I can't lay down in the bed when I, I have to move things around. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to get a st small storage unit um, and uh, oh, this, this is my latest addition. I love this fisherman's chair. I wanted to get the rocking one, but they didn't have it. But it's a great chair. You can even carry it on your back. Look at this. Uh, and it comes with the fishing pole thingies in here. And I do have a fishing pole. And I do have some lures and a, and a reel. I haven't put it together because I don't fish unless I'm with my father. And he's not around or with friends. I just don't fish anymore. I used to. And I'm keeping it, it's just in case. It's just in case the world goes to hell again and we need to survive off the land. I figured fishing is better than hunting. I don't want to kill a deer. I don't think I'd have the courage to do it. Um, so I could live off a of fish though if I had to. Anyways, I have a fishing pole in case I need it. So. I'm gonna feed my kitty his treats. Here, I wanted to show you guys this. Can you see all the different colors? That looks like gold, but I don't think it is. 
I think it may have some gold in it. This is a copper based rock with all kinds of other minerals and this is natural. This is not one of those man-made ones that you can find. I found this little guy. He's my little doggy. He protects it. See, isn't he cute? <laughs> all right. So, so ignore the stains. I have to finish cleaning up. Salem threw up a big huge hairball last night. So here's some of my rocks. See? Yeah, that, some of my better ones I've collected. <laughs> I need to clean that up. But see all of them? They're all up in my window, along with a piece of um, uh, cactus. I think it's Octillo. Yeah, look at that. There we go. All right. All right, guys. So here's the inside of my van. I'm going to feed you. Hold on, boo. I told you it was a disaster. But see, I got those two dressers, and that makes things a lot easier. And I got all these great baskets uh, from Walmart. Uh, I really like them. Uh, I might pick up some more as gifts. Okay, guys, I'm going to tune out now. So let me get out of here. Okay, well, may your howl always be heard. Tuning out, Sylvia.